Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with the Max M454 uh, The tank which got buffed once then nerfed twice in the last 5 months And I have a feeling someone has no bloody clue what they are doing in the balance department Instead of, instead of buffing the tank little by little to tank for a tank to behave more they are over buffing the tank making people to grind the vehicle out right and a couple of months later they're nerfing the tank and the tank is becoming kind of mech in a way right uh, quite an interesting journey anyways let's talk about our gaming journey and how they are doing the things so now we have we are in the tanks um, gg site to check out the stats with the various versions right so first of all what were gaming did when were gaming buffed the AMAX for a very first time you know what were gaming did were gaming buffed um dpm of the vehicle night were gaming buffed shell velocity of the vehicle were gaming buffed dispersion value as quite heavily and um were gaming buffed the hit points of the tank right so people instantly figure it out this is a hidden gem we want to play with a tank and we want to make the tank uh, work right let's have some fun and once again the mix was kind of random tanks you know uh and obviously a bit of the armor buff so where gaming instantly realized that oh my bananas uh, people are actually playing well with a tank which was average and uh, what we can do about this so the patch later approximately one month into the amx domination where gaming said no no uh igor uh we need to do something about it so what igor did igor nerfed the speed and Igor nerfed the total hit points of the vehicle to make the tank, um, let's say, tiny touch worse. But the gun handling is still extremely good of the MX, right? So what Igor is thinking then? Unbelievable. We gave it four months. Four months for MX to um, go out of the meta. And people are still playing with it. Okay, it's not enough. How about we will cut DPM? How about we will make gun less accurate than it was before? <laughs> it's beyond belief. I'm slower. Oi, 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 oi. Fellas, I, I have no clue who is uh, responsible for this job in Wargaming, but it is absolutely ridiculous. So... Ignoring all these facts, right? Let's say, let's pretend uh, those two patches never happened, right? So now we have the old AMAX, right? Old AMAX uh, before nerfing, uh, before buffing it to the king level, right? So let's delete this and let's check it out. Okay, this vehicle has better DPM, aka the current version, right? But this vehicle has shitter gun handling. Uh, it is harder to hit shots uh, over, uh, it is harder to hit shots over the distance. It is taking longer for you to aim. And you know what? On top of that, it is slower. <sighs> oh, yeah. Speaking of the guys who shouldn't work in the company, right? But it's tiny touch uh, better armored on the side, right? What I'm trying to say by saying this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's so much better <clears throat> to simply buff the tanks little by little or nerf tanks little by little if tanks are uh, too strong. But in the same time, if we are talking about this, probably it's the same guy who said Baza um, 160 whatever is all right or 176 is all right to the game as a tier 8 premium so what we are even talking about anyways amix is nerfed okay uh i think good players will still make it work but truth to be told and once again i really want to highlight this this tank has better dpm than it has half year ago right but it has less gun accuracy and it is slower than it was before so pretty much you need to use turbo on this vehicle 
absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, when we have this out of the way, let's go and play some games with MX. And one more very, very important thing what I want to say. I will stop using reticle mode and I will stop using reticle mode not because I do not like it. I love it and I want to use it. But whenever I am presenting uh, the tanks for you, right? Whenever I'm presenting MIX or whatever else, if I'm using reticle mode, some people might not understand what I am using and why my reticle is significantly smaller than theirs. So... I think as being content creator, I should take one for the team and I should play without reticle mode just to show you how in reality the tank is feeling like. Yes, I will have this knowledge in my head. The reticle is 70% 70 per, uh, 70 bigger, right? I will have this knowledge in my head, but in reality, uh, I simply won't use it. Uh, leave, feel free to leave your comment down below. What do you think about this? Uh, what what are your thoughts and do you think it is a good idea or not so good idea? Right? I am curious because I want to present everything as a casual player would have, you know, because not everyone knows about the reticle mod and whatnot. So without further ado, let's teleport straight into the game, shall we? Oh boys, first game with AmaX. Now I am not using the reticle mod, right? So uh, the bloom is going to be quite, quite a huge one. I am using Turbo, I am using Rammer, and I am using Hardering to have tiny touch more hit points, right? And let's see what we can do with this vehicle. I have no doubts, good players who already used to play with this vehicle, right? They will still make this tank work. It's not like the tank is going to be unplayable or something, right? But I believe the tank is not... Um, epic anymore to be completely honest with you you kind of need to have turbo right let's let's be real fellas you kind of need to have turbo right and in the same time your gun handling is kind of kaku so you kind of want to have a improved aiming unit or you want to have a stabilizer or you want to boost your gun handling somehow right so in my opinion amx days are kind of over and uh, I have a feeling the expectation values will start dropping down a bit on this tank and overall good players will uh, remember this as a happy accident to say that the least right of what AmaX used to be before right uh, it's quite sad and I would not act surprised if in the future this vehicle would get a bit of the speed buff just to uh, return it back in the old days you know how the tank uh, uh, used to look like before where gaming even touched it which is quite weird stuff uh, now speaking about the index rating I am going to touch the index rating as well a bit on this vehicle I am going to move it from the epic category um, and I will put it to the good for now on and later on we will see how the things will look like and do I want to go a bit uh, deeper or not so much, right? It is important thing to say. So, let's ping this Mr. E100. We use it our intuition perk to uh, pretty much say hello for him, which is completely fine. And let's see what we can do. Luckily for us, the gun handling and the armor actually is treating us pretty well. Although I am kind of giving for enemies that not really penetratable angle and I'm just baiting them to shoot me in a way, right? So that is a positive thing and that is a good thing. What this thing, what this tank still has compared to let's say Super Conqueror is alpha damage, okay? Alpha damage of this vehicle is actually great and if we have some people who do not know uh, what is the alpha damage in the first place it is how much damage your tank is doing right it is very very important thing to say it is extremely important thing to say okay let's see Bad aim by me, cannot complain about this, I would say. Definitely cannot complain about this. Now E100. 
this is very very hard angle ah one more thing which is important thing to highlight for a tier 10 you have to have below 300 millimeters of penetration it is not really bueno right and i think it definitely requires uh, um, requires highlighting this, right? The penetration is just simply not great. You can say whatever you want for a tier 10. Whenever you are uh, definitely going to meet uh, enemy E100s, mouses, and so on, so on, right? It's just not as superior as uh, Chinese or USSR. Uh, uh, 330 to 340 penetration even mediums have more penetration than this so yeah once again important thing to highlight okay how about this mr was uh, can we spank him oh yes we can beautiful very very nice very nice we are doing some maintenance cleaning here fellas hopefully we will be able to eliminate this was a 55 from the game and if we will uh we are going to be booming fellas Okay, he's in the open field and he's in the garage. Absolutely amazing. We know a Starva is sniping somewhere from the back, okay? We are very, very, very well aware of that, but we are still chilling and we are feeling relatively well. Now, oh, Lion relocated as well. Okay, okay, Mr. Lion, I see what you are doing here, I see. Okay, so first things first, what do we want to do? We want to blind fire that Starva, right? This Estarva might be spotted very, very soon. I am still waiting for it. I want to hold my shot at this point. I think this is what we need to do. Look, our Leo and our E50M, no, they are not going to get involved to that level that they would be able to um, simply make pressure. No, I don't really think it is going to be the case. So what we are trying to do here, we are just trying to uh, blind shot that Esterva. Oh, Esterva is right there. Beautiful. We found him. Oh, this is exactly yeah. what we want to see. Oh my bananas, the lethal effect. Why would you do this to me? You scared the living crap out of me, my man. You scared the living crap out of me. Fellas, I have, I have nothing to say. Baboons just like to scare me. What can I say? Oh, hi. Okay. Look at this. We spotted the Mr. Esterva. Nice. Okay, you, IS-4 might try to get involved. Op, 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 op. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, my man. Okay, how about the shot into the lower plate? Unfortunately, I haven't fired gold, so I can only cry about this, I would say. And oh my bananas, someone is going to take one for the team. Beautiful, very, very nice, and now we can get involved. And involved we will. I want to simply go for it and spot the remaining enemy forces for obvious reasons, right? So we can get a bit of the assisting damage, which would be very, very nice. Obviously, you can't forget about the shots on the move with this vehicle, to be completely honest with you. It is, it is not looking like it is going to be simple, easy, or even doable, I would say. And now the last but not least a Sterva. I hope he drop it down. I hope he drop it down. If he did not drop it down, he will. Sir, I have a good news for you. He's a submarine. He's a submarine. He's a submarine. Skill never sing in your life. Fine. You got me. Okay? You got me. What can I say? So can this vehicle still work, fellas? It can. It can, but it's not as good as it was before, fellas. Honestly, it is not as good as it was before. And now going into the index page, right? Um, let's check out what is the current um, rating on this vehicle, which is very, very important thing to say. France, tier 10, heavy tank. So, as you can see, the rating before, uno momento, I will share that with you in a second. As you can see, fellas, uh, the rating on this vehicle was epic. The gun handling is five stars and everything. 
Uh, so what I am planning to do, I am planning to remove at least one star from the gun handling, maybe even two in the future, right? And I am planning to remove one star from the general rating overall. Um, I think that is fair for this vehicle. So this is what this tank is going to um, uh, get whenever we are going to be done rating it, right? This is very important thing to say. Meanwhile, uh, we completed some kind of stage, which is very, very nice. We finished everything with a 5,000 damage and uh, 1,000 assisting damage, which is glorious. It is very, very nice and it is awesome. And in the end of the day, we have a bit of the profits just because we completed the mission. So, eh, eh. Is it a good game? Absolutely. Yes, I'm proud of myself. Let's go for one more, shall we? Round number two, Karelia and Standard Battle. No, let's see what the Summer X will bring for us. I do not even think about the ABC line. I do not really want to go there, but what I want to do, I think I want to make a, quite a hardcore pressure like this. At least I would love to do that, but it depends how many enemies will, um, will start their journey by crossing on top of the hill. This is important thing to say. Mm. Now, crossing like this can be oh my bananas! Meet, 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 meet. I really need to. I really need to, fellas. There is a guy crossing through the open field. I really need to punish him. Wait, wait, wait. Aim, 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 aim. Unfortunately, I cannot see him anymore. Oy, 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 oy. Close but no banana, I guess. I will sit here for a moment just to check it out. Um, can I can I say hello for them? This is important. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was definitely sick shot. Ooh, look at this luck, fellas. Wow. Okay, the game is treating us pretty well in this situation. Nice. Couple of the free shots are always welcome. We will accept those, we will take those, and we are going to be happy about those. Now, what do we want to do here? We have a CS63 on top of the hill, which is not a good sign. We have Rhino. Our tank destroyers are getting spotted. You know what? I don't like it. Hear me out. I do not... I changed my mind. Those two shots um, slowed me down quite a bit. But once again, I cannot complain about this whatsoever, right? That is, that is my uh, decision and that is my mistake, I would say. So, accept it. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind once again. Skill, I have a question. How many times can you change your mind? Um, as many times as I need to. I'm going in here. The thing is, this Rhino should shit his pants. I do not really think he is that brave at this point, okay? I think he is a bit um, shocked with the amount of the forces which we have over there. So he is, he is a bit paranoid. Plus on top of that, he's shooting hits. So that is a good information. Thank you very much. And what we want to see, we want to see him peeking here. He still has a horn which we can spank, fellas. Look at this beauty. Oh, smart blocking his horn with a gun. No nice. No nice. We just damaged his gun, at least that's what I want to believe. Okay, he's 75 just fired. Rhino has a pixel weak spot. You know, this is how Rhino tank is looking like. Pixel weak spot. And still we can spank them. I would uh, I would describe this as uh, unlucky. Unlucky for this Mr. Rhino fellas. Not much more to say I would say. This Udes is using the double bush all the time. I am, uh, I am bloody proud of this guy. Very 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 nice play. And there is nothing what I can change about this. Just because how he is playing this battle. I will go for a blind shot like so. Unfortunately, I cannot hit him, which is quite a sad thing, but let it be. Okay. I do not want to block our E75 either. 
It's okay. We got this. We got this, fellas. Udes is extremely inaccurate, but the thing is, if uh, if he is playing very very close, he can feel relatively safe and he can feel great with the things which he is doing. You know, this is the thing. One to six score. Ay 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 ay. Such a complicated game. Oh hi. What are you doing here? What is the chance? Rhino pushed him out. What is the chance of that? Wow. I mean, that is that is quite weird, if you would ask me. That is a weird one. An unusual one as well. Okay. Let's bank him into the lower plate. Good, we got this. Mm-hmm. I cannot take more risks, I need to eliminate this guy from there. Oh my bananas, poor Rhino, poor Rhino, poor Rhino, fellas. Ay, 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 All he can do about this, he can complain and he can cry and he can say, pew, pew, pew. Our E75 is going for it. Not the smartest choice by E75, but it is how it is. I'm down to fartable as well. I cannot help him. I would love to say I can and I could, but I can't. That is the problem at this point. Bad shot. Not much what I can change there. I need to accept my responsibility for being silly goose. Okay. Very, very, very nice. What can we say? Enemy team played significantly better in this situation, right? At least that's what I would say. Uh, this ES-63 took the hill. Probably he farmed pretty much everyone who was playing in the open field. And in the end of the day, we have 5 to 15. Would I uh, be able to do something different speaking about the AMAX in this situation if, let's say, we would... Uh, uh, we would be the top version of the tank now to be completely honest with you Maybe maybe I would be able to hit my shots more accurately, but that's about it. You know, I don't really think uh, um, I don't really think I could have done anything uh, more here Good play by the enemies accept it fellas. You cannot win them all and you cannot say hip hip hooray It just doesn't work this way so looking into all of this, 3.7 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage, hip hip hooray, and overall uh, we had an okay game. Uh, I'm sorry for that E75, I know this gentleman tried to help us as much as he physically and possibly could, but there was nothing what we can change about this. Enemy light tank, a lot of spotting, and enemy CS did a very very good job. I wonder what this guy, hello skill, it was a pleasure to play with you, pleasure is mine. Beautiful game, fellas, uh, by the enemies, right? And I think we made this tank work to the to the maximum in this situation. Let it be. We played a couple of games. We managed to average 4.4 thousand average damage and 700 average assisting damage. Accept it and run while you are still up. So thank you, fellas, for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And that is the truth of the MIX. I have a feeling where gaming doesn't know what they are doing. Shh. Thank you for this.